In this video, I am going to share with you my top tips for creating great images based on my experience creating over 30,000 images online and offline. Whether you are just starting out or looking to improve your skills, this video has something for you. So let's get started. Today's video is the first in my new tips and tricks series. I'll be sharing awesome tips and tricks with you today. And there are many more to come in the coming weeks. So stay tuned for more tips and tricks to help you get better with your AI image generation. The first in the list is choosing a checkpoint. Checkpoints in stable diffusion are pre-trained models that can be used to generate images from text prompts. They are created by training a stable diffusion model on a large data set of images. Checkpoints will define how your images will turn out to be. Like a raw stable diffusion 1.5 checkpoint will produce something like this. While the same prompt will produce this with the dream shipper rate model. And you can see how the prompt performed with the rev animated model. You can download checkpoints from either Civit AI or Hugging Face. My recommended checkpoints are Dream Shaper Rate, Rev Animated, and Deliberate V2 or V3. I believe these three models to be most versatile models. And there are there are various models for various art styles. You can check them out on civitai.com. Next on my list is precise prompting. Being precise matters a lot. Now what do I mean by being precise is that you be precise with describing each and everything in the character or the background you want. Like in this example. In my first example I just wrote a girl wearing a dress, beautiful background. It just gave me random colors and random background mixing flower fields and mountains together. But when in my next prompt, I was precise, a girl wearing a green dress, mountains in the background. It gave me mountains in the background and a green dress. In my next example, I wrote a girl wearing a dark green dress, beautiful sunset in the background and it gave me exactly that. So you need to be precise with your prompts, otherwise it will give you a mixture of many images which might not be the result you want. My next tip regarding prompts is that you emphasize on the words you want to show up in the images. And sometimes no matter how, how much you try, the object just doesn't show up in the images no matter where you put the word. So like in this example, a gorgeous woman floating in the cosmos with the otherworldly creatures. The otherworldly creatures just doesn't show up in the first image. But as soon as I start emphasizing on the word by applying parentheses or the brackets around the word, the creature starts to show up in the images. Take a look at Next three examples. So you need to emphasize on a word by putting brackets around it. And if it still isn't showing, then you need to emphasize more on it by putting numbers like 1.1, 1.2 or 1.3. You can increase the value according to the result you want. My next tip is to use in painting. In painting allows you to edit faces, clothes, background or basically anything that you want to edit in or out of the image. So use in painting a lot. I have two videos on my channel related to in painting and if you want more I can make more regarding in painting. Let's look at few examples. In this first image, look at how precisely it recover the face. It removed the bad eye, the bad beard and also added details to the face. So you should always restore faces using in paint feature. The next step is about CFG scale, steps and samplers. 
The CFG scale basically controls how much an AI follows your instructions and how much it gets to be creative. If you set a really high CFG scale, the AI might mess up your image. And if you choose a very low CFG, it won't stick to your prompt as well. So the scale worked the best for me when kept between 4.5 to 6. So you will need to experiment with your art style what works the best for you. Ideally it works the best between 4 to 8 but there is always room for experiments. Let's move on to steps. Imagine you are walking through the fog. You take one step at a time revealing the path ahead. Much like denoising an image with the text to image program where each computational steps unveils the true image hidden within the noise. This is what steps do. They denoise your image. Many of you may be confused about how many steps are optimal. At first, in step 0 as you can see in the example, it's all just mess of random stuff or complete noise like in the picture. But as it goes through each step, it kind of figure out what to make with some help from your text input. Now why not just let it go on forever? Well, at some point it either stops getting better or starts adding weird stuff like faces or trees, things you didn't ask for basically. That's when you get those unintended surprises. So there is this nice range of 20 to 50 steps. That's where things usually turn out just right. Let's move on to samplers. Let's compare the speeds of the samplers first. Here is a screenshot of the speeds of the samplers. As you can see, the Uni PC is the fastest of the samplers while DPM Adaptive is the slowest. But which one is more accurate and which one produces the result? faster than the other samplers. Let's look at in the next image. The upcoming example have been generated using the same seed and underwent a 10 step iteration process. And the example will also give you an idea about which sampler will make a decent looking image in less number of steps which is very useful for the people who are using a low end GPU like me. As you can see in the last two images the Euler and Euler A sampler has produced better image than a LMS sampler which wasn't able to denoise the image in less number of steps. Let's go through each sampler now and see which sampler produces better images using only 10 steps. These four samplers were not able to deliver the results DPM 2A Karas, DPM Fast, PLMS and DPM 2A. While rest of the samplers were able to deliver the result, but the best pick would be DPM++ 2M Karas and DPM++ STE Karas. Though STE Karas is slower, but STE even is much, far, is much accurate and produce aesthetically pleasing result according to me. This is it for today. I will come with more videos like these in the future. If you like this video, kindly consider subscribing to the channel and liking this video. I'm eager to learn from all of you as well. Feel free to share your valuable tips and tricks in the comment section and let's create a space where everyone can learn and grow together. Thank you for watching.